Three, two, one. What is up, gamers? I'm okay. here with Cthulhu Lemon. Gamers. What yeah. is up, gamers? Do we ever yeah. ask the gamers how they're feeling? Exactly. I broke it <laughs> we love to see it. Yes, I remember what my controls are now. I didn't press the wrong button. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I am an expert. I'm a professional. This might actually piss off the, um, monster we're dealing with. A monster, you say? Yes, I did say. Okay, so we found this post on Reddit about a special little monster, um, in a specific seed, which is this one. Um, do you want to read the post? I would love to read the post, Bessie. Alright. Okay. So, so, the title of this post is Recently downloaded Minecraft mod causing weird events? Question mark, question mark, question mark. It keeps going. Several question marks. Not a very menacing title, gotta say. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> sure. Whatever. At first, I thought it was just a glitch. I mean, it all seemed to be some sort of post-update bug, you know? Blocks shifting a short distance away from where I'd placed them or appearing from nowhere. I barely even noticed when it started. I've been a fan of creepypastas, particularly Minecraft-related creepypastas, since I was a kid. I was absolutely obsessed with Herobrine, and obsessively tried every method and clickbaity video I could find to summon him into my world. I guess younger me finally got their wish then, huh? Whatever it is, it's after me. I stop. I can speak. I can read. <laughs> I'm literate. Sometimes. <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's after me. I know for a fact it's not him. Apart from the fact that he's probably not real, of course. I can't quite explain it, but it feels older. More sinister. I can't help but get the feeling that I'm being watched right at this very moment. No, no, no. Not watched tested. A few days ago, I found a post by user gullible gift three I can't I can't read. I can't read. Harlow. Oh we're being oh, we're being swarmed. Hello? Okay. Sure, I'll just go back to reading my post. Okay. Yeah, you just you just keep reading. I'm gonna by a user here on Reddit about a mod they created. There were no details, but I thought I recognized the formula. Set up a mysterious premise, cause some vaguely spooky events, and profit. What could be more mysterious than someone suddenly leaving with their final work, right? When I went to download the mod, though, it didn't work. I messaged the user privately about the broken link, but they just responded with gibberish. Something about an ongoing cycle and needing to wait my turn? I don't remember. I didn't respond and honestly sort of just forgot the whole thing happened. Out of sight, out of mind, and all that. Until... I got another response from the user. I was ready to dismiss... I was ready to dismiss it right away, until I noticed the message was just a new link. Assuming they had actually gotten around to fixing the mod, I eagerly downloaded it, watched as it opened a world with a specific seed, and... nothing. I spawned right next to a village, but other than that, there was really nothing out of the ordinary. Disappointed, I honestly may have gotten a little upset at the mod creator. All I got in return was a simple list of instructions. Rename the world. Build. Sacrifice. I remember I sort of just stared at it confused for a while, trying to figure out why on earth any of that would change anything. Eventually, though, I figured I might as well just give it a shot. I renamed the world, and went around collecting the materials I'd need for the build. I could be making this up, but I swear it was easier to find the materials I needed than usual. There were candles in the village, something I'd never seen before, and I got obsidian in record time. I headed to the nether, and managed to spawn directly in a warped forest, allowing me to grab the block I needed. When I returned to the overworld, the single alley of mine was just sitting there. I swore it hadn't been there earlier, but I could have just missed it. Obviously, it just had to be a lucky seed or something, right? 
I don't know what the alternative is. Either way, I finished building. Whatever it was. As instructed. It reminded me a lot of some of the Herobrine shrines I used to build, so I figured I must at least be on the right track. The last instruction left me more confused than ever. Sacrifice? Sacrifice what? I looked at the village around me with a strange sense of horror. I guess it would be as good a place to start as any. Starting with the golem and working my way down, I methodically slaughtered each and every one of the villagers until the town stood empty and silent. It felt wrong, but I knew then that something had changed. Not outwardly, perhaps, but something was just off. At first, I thought it was just a glitch. It quickly started getting more intense, though. Blocks would vanish entirely. Strange formations would appear where there were none before. Items would randomly appear in my inventory. And most strangely of all, I kept catching glimpses of movement out of the corner of my eye. It was infrequent at first, but now it's a nearly constant presence. It's not just that world anymore, either. Whatever it is, it's spreading and fast. If I had to guess, though, I think it might just be a particularly nasty virus. That was not a word. I did not say a word there. Hang on. If I had to guess, though, I think it might just be a particularly nasty virus. Definitely inconvenient, but unfortunately not uncommon when downloading stuff from people you don't know. Seems like I'll have to get better antivirus software or something. Well, it's my own fault. Moral of the story, be careful what you download from strangers claiming to be modders, I guess. Too long didn't read. I downloaded a creepy mod from a user here on Reddit and may have thoroughly messed up my PC in the process. That was a really good reading. Thank you. I tried my I'm, best. I'm sorry for all the monsters. I probably should have put it on peaceful, but whatever. Um, to be fair, the audio on my computer is off, so I had no idea what was happening. Until I turned around <laughs> and saw you fighting two zombies. <laughs> Uh, Hero. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I uh, actually scanned the file and uh, didn't turn up any viruses. So that's kind of spooky. Tanet. Tanet. If something happens to us, maybe. I don't know, at least we get views from it, right? <laughs> exactly. Maybe we should sleep. All right. And it's daytime. I should probably eat something because I'm at two hearts. Oh no. Let's see. Oh. Well. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh <laughs> video, I guess. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it was the uh creature. The entity, if you the will. The entity, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody named it? I don't know. Hmm. That was I could find about it. Um, I went and I tracked it. Well, obviously we tracked down the guy who posted it originally. Yeah. But, um, I didn't see... He actually didn't say that much about it, just that it was his final mod. So... Hmm. Kind of weird. But go off, I guess, King. <laughs> okay. You should give it a um... cool name, though. Yeah, I, I think that would be better than just calling it monster or thing or entity. Um... <laughs> How about... Pasta game? Sonic.exe. <laughs> you call it that? exe? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Uh... Do we call it Sonic or EXE? <laughs> what do you think? Can you imagine naming the entity Sonic? <laughs> I feel like it would really hate us then. Like, that would definitely make it despise us. Yeah, it would. I mean, that's kind of the point, though, isn't it? 
deserves a little bit more respect than that. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's call it EXE then. Oh. Oh. Right. There is there is a portal uh -huh. here. Um. Should we see if there's like any weapons or anything in the chest? Chest. Uh. What is this part of the mod? Look. I think so. I mean, okay. the post said that she had to go and find the stuff herself. Hmm. Not weird. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. Moving along. Um. Well. We can That's already. For us, right? Yeah, honestly. Uh, maybe. I mean, it was the modder's last work, and you know, probably kind of buggy. So maybe the generation's kind of wonky. I don't know. But we should probably get some materials at least. Oh, there's a woodland mansion. Ew, why do these ones get to be right on the beach? <laughs> it's not fair. Yeah, how dare they? I do not feel bad for burning down their houses later yet. Yeah, clearly they are the wealthy. <laughs> I'd be out here slaughtering animals. Wow. Can't believe Very you. Very evil. Thing. Sure would be a shame if someone were to notice me right now. Hello? <coughs> EXE. <coughs> <laughs> okay, um, so you remember that door that disappeared earlier? Do you remember that one? Yeah. Yeah, so I am in that house currently, and I made a makeshift door out of wool, and the wool is gone. Right door. It's probably just lag. Don't worry about it. My wool back, please? I stole that off. I murdered sheep myself. I would like it back. How dare you? I am feeling stolen from. I am feeling attacked. Stealing from the poor and giving to the rich, shaking my head. Yeah. I'm going to die. <laughs> I should find like an actual house to bunker down in. The functioning door. That iron golem is getting absolutely beat up. He's got cracks. Wow. Boo, get good at your job. <laughs> I've almost died like three times. <laughs> He's not even doing anything. He's just staring off into the distance. What? Whoa! What? Okay, that was weird. What was weird? sand um, dropped on me. Oh? Yeah. I mean, you are, like, right by a beach. Yeah, but I'm underground. You'd Great. think it would be gravel. And also, like, the hole goes all the way up. I don't know, huh. it's- it's- it's probably nothing. Yeah. Hopefully fine. <laughs> I feel like if someone, if, if EXE was trying to kill you, they could do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> really? That was like a weak way to try to kill me? <laughs> I moved out of the way so quickly. <laughs> Boo, get good. Get good, scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um... My dog is here. She picks very bad opportunities to be in my presence. She really does. 
Oh, there's a blacksmith. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. There's, uh, iron and stuff. Cool. He is with me, currently. What's up, King? He's asleep. I'm kind of just camping in his house. Oh, crap. Uh, 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 uh. There's a zombie with an iron sword. <laughs> Hello. Oops. Hello. For you. Thank you. This feels like a little bit too much layering, even for me. <laughs> what? Look. What? 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 Huh? What? Oh, that one. Oh, you got it. He dropped an iron sword. Oh. And it has pretty what? good durability. But that's stone. I can't tell. I'm what? dumb. Okay, that was quick. Cool, we love Did you just see that thing like fly across the door? No. Very neat. Okay. Do you wanna build the portal or should I? You can build it. I'll just make sure that you're doing it correctly. We gotta find like a good spooky atmosphere to do it, don't you think? <laughs> what? Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Aw, kitty. Kitty. Lead us to the correct place. This is wrong. You are wrong. Okay. I feel like the Dark Oak Forest is a good place to start. It's got a very spooky atmosphere. Pasta time? Yeah. Okay, let's build that shrine. Yeah. Okay. Um... This might be a good spot. It's already clearly cursed. That's where I... everything crashed for me. <laughs> well, I think that's as good a spot as any. Okay. So. Wait, I like understand. It's a three by three block. Okay. Like that, yeah. right? Uh huh. It'll be really bad. The warp mycelium up. goes in the middle. Okay. I can't see the outline, so I'm not. Okay, yeah. we're good. There you go. Whew. A lot of pressure. Okay, and then. Ended by obs one obsidian block on each side. It's a pretty block. I just realized. Yeah. I like it. Well. The XE has some good taste, I guess. Okay, so okay. then the flower pot, right? I think the allium goes last. Okay. Uh, then there's the candles. Yes. Ew, they make a weird noise when you place them. Do they really? Yeah. I hate that. It's kind of squishy a little bit. Bad. I'm not a fan of that. And then you light the candles, right? We did it! Okay. Woo! We followed basic instructions! Love this for us. Love to see it. Hang on, this chicken's annoying me. Okay. So... Time to go slaughter the village, methinks? Yeah, let's go. I have the flint and steel so I can burn shit down. Nice. <laughs> Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Oh, wait, we have to start with the golems, don't we? I think that's what it said in the post. Hello, king. I forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much damage they do. I made a mistake. Harlow! <laughs> Harlow! Harlow! Oh, 
dang. <laughs> okay, we gotta go get our stuff before it burns. What? Uh. Okay. Got it. Village looks better set on fire. Nice. Um, I would like to play. I'm in the void. Something fell. Was it me? Okay, I'm back. I'm surrounded by flames. I'm born anew like the phoenix from the ashes. Did you get a sign somewhere? <laughs> a slime? No. Where did I kill the slime? No, a sign. Look. Behind you. Over here. Turn around. No, I'm over I here. The sign. I'm behind That's you. Nothing. This whole time we discussed this. Hey. Oh, there you are. <laughs> what? Oh, you're yeah. lagging. I, I just found the sign. I feel like... I don't like that. I don't trust like that. I don't... Uh, uh, um, to say the least. What? Uh, what? Okay, what? Uh, what? 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 Um, what? Oh. Okay, um... What? I was poisoned. You were poisoned? What? Yeah. Risky uh, and very normal. Minecraft behavior. It's probably the mod. Mm. Yeah, it must be a lot glitchier than we thought, I guess. It was taking a while to kick in, too. <laughs> now I'm getting kind of paranoid. I saw a cow out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> and it scared me. <laughs> like, it's clearly wrong. How dare there be an animal? Hi! If you're hearing this, it means you've reached the end of the video. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe. It'll give us a better idea of what kind of content you'd like from us. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon.